Yo ho ho me hearties <clears throat> and a bottle of rum. I'm Ralphie, welcome to my channel, Ralphie.com. I am primarily a whiskey reviewer, but I'm doing these rapid reviews to introduce you to other spirits that cross my path. Some of them, I have to say, I enjoy less than others. Um, in this occasion, it's Kraken Black Spiced Rum, a brand which appeared in the market in 2010, which at the moment is about 11 years ago. And nice big fat cork on it. This um, particular version comes in a ceramic decanter with the, the double loops that you get from old, reminiscent a reproduction of old Victorian bottles. And you have the generalised outline of a sea squid on it. The brand really was capitalising on the Pirates of the Caribbean effect. And it quickly established itself as a very promoted brand seen on a lot of bar shelves and featured in a lot of novelty cocktails. In fact, if you go to the Kraken Rum website, you'll find it's quite cartoonishly presented. And if you're interested, you can join the League of Darkness, which is the supporters club. And apparently you get 10% off some things. So there you go. So how does it actually taste on its own? Without the ginger beer, which would make it a dark and stormy, or Coca-Cola, which would make it a rum and coke. Very vanilla rich, very reminiscent actually of uh, Trinidadian rum, um, which has that light, soft, intensely vanillaed flavour to it. In fact, I think there's vanilla added to it in production, to be honest, it's so intense. The colour is derived from caramel colourant. Uh, just to put you out your if you had any doubts that the colour actually came from wooden casks, you know, not really. It's called E150A. Artificial, well, naturally, na natural stroke artificial caramel colourant. Smell? Vanilla, slightly rummy, slightly industrial, fairly simple. Flavour? relatively bland, clean enough, bottled at 40%, so at least you're getting something that's of a reasonable strength for being a brand-led consumer product. Flavour doesn't hang around much. You get a little bit of a slightly bitter nip in the finish due to the caramel in it, but uh, I'd say fairly innocuous, and that's what it's designed to be. This is not a sipping rum. Um, if you want to sip it, fire away. You may be just disappointed by the, the lack of monstriness about it. Um, it does not have the bite of a kraken, put it that way. Um, and as for being a beast, it's a very mild, tame vanilla beast, like vanilla ice cream. and there's sugar in it, just so as you know. Well, that was exciting for about three or four seconds, just sharing.